Cyclone Fabienne has reached category 3 tropical, uh, tropical cyclone status, making it the strongest since Cyclone Billy Lila of 1986. Can you believe it? 37 years ago. Impressive about that achievement by Fabienne. And it's a category 3 tropical cyclone, and its location 8.7 degrees south, 74.3 degrees east, approximately. In its current conditions, 115 miles per hour sustained winds, 963 millibars, and moving to the southwest at 7 miles per hour. That's latest uh, at 12 hours local time of Diego Garcia, 10 hours local time in Mauritius, which is 6 hours UTC on May the 17th. The tropical storm force winds extending up to 60 nautical miles northeastern quadrant, 75 nautical miles to the southeastern quadrant of the storm, 80 nautical miles from the southwestern quadrant, and 60 nautical miles from the southwest sorry northwestern quadrant so far. And despite there's no watches and warnings officially, the island of Diego Garcia is rec it's receiving uh, some effects of this tropical cyclone, like uh, constant rain, possibly high waves, or some storm surge, and possibly some tropical storm force winds. Maybe not uh, constant or like sustained, but uh, some gusting could uh, could be possible. And, and it's because uh, the storm is located only at 205 kilometers to the east-southeast of Diego Garcia. And then it's located 1,680 1, kilometers to the northeast of Port Mathurin in Rodrigues, 2,190 kilometers to the northeast of Port Louis in Mauritius, and 2,410 kilometers to the northeast of St. Denis in Reunion. And about uh, the forecasts, well, or the estimates of different agencies, the Meteor France, they say it's one, uh, one, a 100 miles per hour sustained wind tropical cyclone, a category 2. The Joint Typhoon warn, uh, Warning Center, a slightly, a slightly stronger cyclone, but still a category 2. 110 km, uh, miles per hour sustained, sorry, practically uh, a high end cat 2, almost cat 3. And here, 413, we believe. Uh, that it reached category 3 status with 115 miles per hour sustained. And fortunately, Fabien has started its weakening trend, as you may saw on the latest frames of, of the satellite imagery. And it's going to remain quite uh, weak on the next days. Well, it's going to remain... Uh, it's going to weaken <laughs> sorry it's going to weaken on the next hours gradually not that fast but gradually as it stalls in the next four or five days possibly and then losing strength a lot and possibly becoming only a tropical storm by the may the 22nd that's because westerly wind shear has started to affect the storm the sea surface tem the temperatures are actually practically warm 28 29 degrees celsius which is any uh, cons uh, any problem for the cyclone to actually intensify, but the atmospheric atmospheric conditions have started to become hostile for the cyclone. And this, the winds of this tropical cyclone expected uh, quite compact, but still reaching possibly some locations of Diego Garcia Island, possibly gusting winds. Uh, but still not uh, quite enough to really affect the storm fortune uh, sorry to affect the island fortunately and as you can see on the graphic it's quite uh, it's quite a compact uh, area of winds but the rain is a it's a concern between uh, two to four inches possibly could be seen on Diego Garcia Island and as Fabien stalls uh, some area on the open waters could see up to 32 inches, which of course is a lot of rain, but fortunately not over any kind of land. The, practically on the model predictions, uh, we can see that Fabien has already reached its peak intensity and the weakening trend is going to start or has already started, so we may see a slightly weaker a cyclone in the next hours and days and this trend will continue but still not dissipating. The wind shear has increased as you can see and it's going to 
uh, getting quite uh, marginal but still strong enough to make the cyclone weaken um, constantly and not reaching any kind of regaining a more intensity which is good news so the wind shear is doing the job of practically stopping the storm to be that intense so as it did so far the sea surface temperatures it's uh, are going to decrease as well as the cyclone moves more towards to the south but still the temperatures are going to remain quite warm the humidity it's going to remain quite good as well so there's no uh, a possibility that Fabien will struggle with dry air and you can see the floaters <coughs> sorry you can see the floaters in uh, at Force 13 website about this cyclone and other tropical invests that already have emerged or already made its presence right right now so check them out at Force 13's website and enjoy all the tools and floaters we have for you that's all for now on Fabian's update keep updated with more tomorrow